In 1950, there were maybe 3,000 centenarians on the planet. 3,000 people had made it to be 100 years old or more. And by 2050, in our lifetime, 100 years later, there are going to be 6 million centenarians on the planet. Look at the number of people over the age of 60. We're talking about having 2 billion people on the planet over the age of 60 by just 2050, very soon, that will be here before we know it. This global aging challenge is going to require us to rethink healthcare in every country. Every constituent that we study and that we work with, from patients to doctors to nurses to family caregivers, they're, they're at this frustration flashpoint. It's time to change. As I look across all of these healthcare reform bills and policy changes that are going on worldwide, there's four megatrends that are emerging. And I, and I call them the four C's. It's really about complexity, coordination, collectivity, and community. Patients aren't one disease. The majority of patients have two, three, four, five chronic conditions that they're dealing with, and they're all inter animated with one another. And our healthcare system is gonna to have to manage and embrace that complexity, take all of that data in, and personalize treatment for individuals in ways that we've never done before. Coordination is really about team-based care. It's about giving doctors and nurses and social workers and family members and empowered patients tools and data and information that allow each of them to play their part in this carefully orchestrated care. Collectivity is really about recognizing the need to move to a healthcare system where we reimburse for care and we take responsibility for care as a collective of people, as a team of people. Today, we pay individual doctors and nurses based on the amount of time they spend with the patient or the number of visits or the number of prescriptions. Tomorrow, we need to pay for the quality results that they're delivering to that patient over a long period of time. That's a game changer. Community is really about shifting from this kind of campus-centric model to a community-centric model of care. That means doing care in the home and in the community, not necessarily in the hospital and the clinic. We need a care infrastructure and a workforce infrastructure that deals with that reality and the care can go wherever the patient goes. These four C's aren't abstract concepts. They are real innovation experiments with new care models that countries all over the world are doing right now. We've got to figure out how to develop an innovation culture. We can't carry this idea with us that we think one bill or one experiment or one new care model will figure it all out. We have to try over and over again, fail fast, iterate, learn, and move on. We've got to build a 21st century care force, a workforce of not just doctors and nurses, there's not going to be enough of those, but also community health workers, trained volunteers, neighbors, family members. We've got to build a communication and information technology infrastructure that doesn't stop at the edge of the campus or the hospital, but goes all the way to the home and the community. Once we've achieved that level of home and community-based care, of care coordination and dealing with the complexities of these illnesses, I'll know we'll have done something absolutely amazing. <laughs>